you don't know english but you land up in a situation or in a, in some area where people around you they don't understand your regional language they don't understand your native language and they can speak and understand only english then under such circumstances what would you do this is a big question my dear friends man is a social animal we can't live alone and to make our living possible we have to interact with the people around us for example you land up at in some foreign country okay and you are unfamiliar with the surroundings and if you want to reach at certain place in certain area you will have to inquire you will have to ask about that place to someone so that that person may help you that person may let you know that uh, where that location is then how much time it would take to reach there then how to reach there what is the mode of transportation similarly if you have to buy your grocery again you will have to go to the grocery store and to take your items out and to know about the location of those items in the store you will have to communicate with the persons over there suppose you are driving your own vehicle and you want to know that where is the nearby gas station again in that case you will have to ask to some person about the location and if suppose you fall ill some day unfortunately you fall ill then how to book the appointment with the doctor and if you happen to be there how to communicate with the doctor so here comes a concept of survival english those chunks of english or little little phrases of english which you would use along with or coupled with your body language also initially so that your purpose or your message is conveyed to the other person uh, so that you become capable enough to convey the meaning that what do you need and uh, what is your problem or what do you want now we have to think do we really need to learn this survival english or we already know it my dear friends i believe that we all have studied english up to a certain level at least in our school days and at that time we studied english as a full fledged subject either as a journal subject or as an elective but, but in our journey so far we have not utilized uh, that language for our communication or some other purpose so we have built up that feeling that we don't know english we don't dare to speak english with the fear that we may make mistakes and we hesitate to speak english because we are scared of uh, that the people around us they would laugh at us so what i mean to convey to you is that we know english to some extent but the need is to explore that english that how much that how much english we know so in that case i would suggest you to start your journey by just recollecting all those things which you have studied in your childhood or during your school days so in what way we can do that we can start doing this by just focusing on some aspect of life at a time like suppose we i gave you the example of the grocery store then you start framing small small phrases related to the purchase of your grocery like just make a list of the items which you may need to buy or which you need to buy then start making small sentences that if you happen to the grocery store then how would you communicate with the person over there so this way we can start 
building up the sentences related to our survival english so so my purpose is to encourage you to let you know that you have already this much chunk of english inside you but the necessity is just to take it out once you will start practicing your skill you will get to know that you know lots of the stuff but the problem with you was that the habit of not talking in english the habit of not practicing your speaking skill so once you start your journey definitely you will pick up the pace slowly slowly and some day this pace will become speedy